Hello Topaz Studio users, this is Joe Jasper and I'm going to uh, explain once again the difference between an adjustment, a preset, and an effect and why these are so empowering uh, to your creativity using Topaz Studio. Uh, so in the process I'm going to take this photograph of Anne Hathaway's cottage and turn it into the one you saw while I explain the difference between an adjustment, a preset, and an effect. So what is an adjustment? Uh, an adjustment is what appears on the right side here. It's a group of sliders that's not yet set. So if I reset everything over here and I go in, I by clicking on the word adjustment here, I get the 10 or so free adjustments and any purchased adjustments that I have in Topaz Studio. And uh, if I click on one of them like precision contrast, you'll see that there's a bunch of options underneath the header of precision contrast. Uh, each of which has a slider attached to it. And uh, then some other options that are clickable. So uh, along with that, there are some other options like adding a mask uh, and the blend mode. So I can take my time on this uh, photograph and go in and uh, say, well, I want to make a basic adjustment and go through and decide how I want to uh, adjust all these sliders uh, one by one. Do I want the shadows a little uh, lighter? Do I want the highlights down a bit? And if I have a stack of photographs from a trip that I need to go through and a number of them are a similar subject that I want to treat similarly, then I'd have to go through each one, one by one, set these sliders all over again. And if I'm putting a number of adjustments uh, on a photograph to get an end desired effect, this could take me a long time for each photograph. So uh, one of the benefits that we have is that there's something called a preset. And a preset is a group of saved adjustment slider settings. So you click on an adjustment. Let's do that. We'll take this one and we'll click on an adjustment like precision contrast. And instead of having to go through and individually set these, I go to this word preset and there's a drop down menu next to it where I can say I want to use the high dynamic range one so that my other graphic treatments of this photograph will be uh, better. Now what if after that I want to uh, apply other adjustments, I can do the same thing. Click on the adjustment, click on a preset, or make other adjustments uh, as I go along. And then I could end up with a stack of adjustments. So using the preset is a time saver. So again, I could come into precision contrast, go through one by one setting these, adjusting them, trying to recreate what I did in my workflow just before. And if I didn't write it down, I'd be playing with these a lot. Uh, or even if I did write it down, I'd have to adjust each one of these. Or I could simply come in and find the preset that I want. Now this is a stock preset that came with uh, this adjustment in Topaz Studio. Uh, but there are others that I might uh, uh, want and I can create my own. So I could brighten things, I could change the clarity setting, 
I could bring up the shadows, I could bring down the highlights, set my black level darker, set my white level higher, and then I could come to this little script marker here and save this as a preset. Uh, so by clicking on that little page-like uh, list here, what I'm doing is saving all these sliders to create my own preset, and then I could name it here. And once I click on OK, that will then appear in this preset over here. So like here I have one that's called, da well, it's supposed to say Da Vinci, <laughs> uh, basic um, contrast, but uh, you get the idea. I saved a preset, and now all these sliders are set automatically for me each time. And I could, again, stack a number of adjustments together. So hopefully you now understand what an adjustment is and what a preset of an adjustment is. But what is an effect? An effect is a set of one or more presets that we have saved. So I could have one, two, three, multiple adjustments in this right-hand panel, save it as an effect, or use one of the thousands of effects that Topaz and the public uh, forum of Topaz has supplied uh, to create a rapid uh, change to our image using multiple adjustments with their presets that somebody has saved. You can create your own as well. Now one of the caveats is that if I have an image that uh, I've gone through the work and made multiple adjustments on, I really don't want to lose my work. And if I come over and all of a sudden uh, add uh, some other workflow uh, called an effect, it erased all that work that I've done and substituted some new uh, adjustments over here. So let's undo that. Here's the little undo arrow. And I'm back to my workflow. What I can do is first apply, click apply, and that'll save a copy of that image to which I can then apply any effect from the left-hand panel. So I wanted to create a sort of a wood block effect using also a Da Vinci sketchy look uh, like this is my end result. Uh, and I used again this image. So the first time I went through, I uh, kind of Make, made notes of everything I did. I applied AI Clear, and I applied that. And then I went in and I made uh, a basic adjustment um, to this. And I set all my settings how I wanted it, uh, brought up my shadows, brought down highlights brought down black level, brought up white level, maybe brought up the shadows a little bit more, and uh, I applied some precision contrast to uh, get a more graphic sort of look. And um, applied that, and it took some experimenting to get there. Uh, but what I did along the way is I made some notes as to what I was doing. So at, at this point, again, I applied my settings because I wanted to uh, go in and get a Da Vinci effect, and that was uh, from Impression ancient and you go down and you find uh, Da Vinci effect. I think I used something like this one, Da Vinci 3. 
And even in there, I made some changes. Uh, so I increased my brush size to get uh, a little different look to the detail. Um, I decreased the spill to bring back some of the detail. And uh, I think I brought up my shadows again. And I was able to then, oh, I also went into the texture uh, section. Made sure the texture strength was off here because I'm going to do something else later. Um, and I put the original. Let's see what we got. No, I didn't. I didn't change the original. I just made sure the texture strength was off so that we didn't have any uh, paper texture or canvas or anything like that. And uh, then I did take this and set it as a preset uh, for what I wanted. Um, like this. And again, go down through, see the changes I made um, as we go through here. Increase contrast, increase shadows, uh, increase the brush size. So I saved that as a preset. Uh, and then I saved that. And I went to adjustments. I took my HSL, found the oranges, and said, you know what, I want it to be only kind of a sepia tone. And then I went back to precision contrast. And again, played with these settings to get a much rougher look to it. So, uh, I, again, with each of these adjustment steps, saved a preset of what I liked. Uh, so that's a lot of work. I sped through it quickly here. Uh, it may not seem quick to you, but the first <laughs> time or two I went through this image, uh, it took over an hour to do. So once I did that, I figured, okay, you know, instead, why don't I bring Da Vinci in first? Uh, in this case, maybe after AI Clear. And uh, the reason to do that is if you're going to save an effect, remember any time I click on this left panel uh, to bring an effect into my stack of adjustments over here, that it will erase any work that I've already done on the right side. So again, if I go in here to Ancient and bring up uh, the Da Vinci, uh, da Vinci 4 or 3 or whatever it is, and make my adjustments, to the brush size, Bring down the spill. Or in this case, I can just now come up and choose my preset. I have it now. I can shrink that. Now I can go in and add all my adjustments uh, like remember there was a precision contrast that we started with that was high dynamic range. But instead of having it here where I wanted that was before impression. So now I can just drag it above and it'll change totally how that Da Vinci look uh, appeared. So here's without it and this is with it before. If I leave it after afterwards I have a very different look as well, right? 
So I want this first step to be here. So I can go through now and add my other adjustments with presets that I've saved. And uh, this one may just be something like details. And then finally my HSL. Whoop. Sorry, clicked on the wrong one. HSL. Come in, reduce the saturation to the desired level, etc. So now that I have multiple adjustments with their presets, this is an effect, but it's nothing until I it's nothing that is repeatable until I come down and save it. So I have to come down to this icon here. It looks like a bunch of old floppy disks stacked on top of each other, I guess. And I click on that and it brings up a dialog box to save an effect. I can give it a name, an effect description, decide whether I want to make it public or not, and click some characteristics uh, as to what happened here. Uh, and so I'm going to cancel out of that because I'm going to undo that and come over here. And there is a wood block by Jasper uh, over here that I can click on that does all of it in one step. So do I want to spend an hour or more on each image doing this? Or do I want to make one click and in a flash have my finished result, which, by the way, is then reusable. I might take a different image and come back. Uh, uh, now, because it's an effect that I created, or maybe you find one that's a favorite, I can come, come over here and say, let's make this one. And there I've got the same woodblock effect. Uh, almost an engraving-like effect. Uh, for this one, I think what I would probably do is give it a hand-colored look just by decreasing the opacity to something like 50%, and that's a nice one. And you, you can just do this with every image that you want to try it on. Uh, so, again, in a flash, I've recreated a workflow by using an effect that loaded the right-hand panel with a bunch of adjustments, preset sliders. I can go in if I want to, if I want uh, more or less color in this uh, wood block. Uh, this look, I could bring down my saturation. I could make it just a black and white. Uh, so do I want to spend an hour or more on each image, or do I want to get it done in a flash? That's the power of using adjustments with presets to save time, but more importantly, to use a set of adjustments with presets called an effect that gets the job done in a flash. Thank you for watching. I hope that this cleared things up and that you know the difference now between adjustments, presets, and effects. Thanks for watching.